Lena Gorelick was 11 years old when she moved with her parents from St. Petersburg to Germany. Today, she's a published author living in Munich. She wrote most of her books in this cafe. She doesn't consider herself religious, but when her son was born two months ago, she and her husband decided to have him circumcised in accordance with Jewish tradition. I'm so pleased we did it. I can't explain why. Perhaps because the tradition was important to me. Or it's a subconscious thing. Perhaps I do sense that I'm Jewish, though it doesn't play a role in my everyday life. Somehow, it would have been strange not to do it. The characters in her first two novels are, like herself, in search of their Jewish identity. Lena Gorelick says, for the most part, her Jewishness manifests in little things. For example, if I drop a glass, I cry out Mazel Tov, because that's just what you say. Or another example, my father has the typical Jewish sense of humor, which I've inherited somewhat. Things like that. But no rules, no laws. Grigory Kristal, on the other hand, takes Jewish laws very seriously. The Talmud prescribes a total of 613 commandments. Fulfilling every single one of them isn't always easy for the Berlin businessman, who specializes in air conditioning and sanitary systems. For one thing, it's written, six days shall you work, but there's nothing to say from when till when. So you could work nonstop for six days, but then it can still happen that on certain days, when you're not supposed to work, you still have to do something. That's just the way it is when you're self-employed. Every Friday, Grigory Kristal goes to the synagogue. Back in Riga, where he grew up, he was banned from practicing his religion. It was only when he came to Berlin that he was free to discover and live out his faith. Today, he says he can't imagine a life without the Jewish community or the synagogue. It's the entire atmosphere. It's like a little family. You sit together, you sing together, pray together. It's something every person needs at the end of the week. Das, was jeder Mensch braucht zum Ausklingen der Woche. After the breakup of the Soviet Union, Jewish communities in Germany grew rapidly. Within the space of a few years, the number of Jews living in Germany tripled. In Berlin, Margarita Badisch helps new arrivals settle in. Six decades after the Holocaust, we ask her why so many Jews choose to come to Germany instead of Israel or the United States. She tells us it's partly because Germany is in Europe. Many feel culturally more at home here. That's one of the reasons. Also, after the Berlin Wall fell, it was very easy for Jews to come. And many had relatives and other contacts here. And with Jews, it often happens that once one goes, the others follow. Lena Gorelick recently visited the liberal Jewish community in Munich for the first time. It's a moderate alternative to the strict Orthodox community, where, among other rules, women sit separately from men during services. But she says it's not so much the religious aspects that interest her. It's a community where Jewish life and culture is lived out. And that's something I do want to be part of. It's not so much the synagogue services that I'm interested in. It's more about living the traditions and passing them on to my child. This kind of freedom was largely denied to her as a child. Before her family came to Germany, they had to celebrate Jewish holidays in secret. 
Das hat man den Nachbarn nicht erzählt, den We didn't tell our neighbors erzählt. or friends. War, also I can remember ich, coming home as a child kam, and the table was laid, but I wasn't allowed to tell my friends why or what we were doing. Sagen, warum, That would have been inconceivable. Also, ja, das war einfach nicht denkbar. Meanwhile, Grigory Kristal has met a group of Turkish high school students outside the synagogue in Berlin. They're doing a survey to find out more about Judaism. Kristal never tires of explaining his faith. And he'd like to win over more people from the former Soviet Union so they might participate in the Jewish community. The more people get involved, the stronger the community will be. I don't want to force anyone to go to the synagogue. Everyone should be free to decide that for themselves. But on certain days, I do think our synagogue should be full. On this particular evening, the synagogue is far from full. Many Jews from the former Soviet Union have rediscovered their traditions in Germany. But as to whether more will also embrace the Jewish faith may depend largely on whether the existing synagogues focus more on orthodox or liberal teachings.